Okay, so we're gonna try to do a bombing run here. Um, per book, at least this is how they did it, and we're gonna try to do it as best as we can in DCS. We're gonna turn towards the target and uh, gonna drop to 500 feet. Go full military power. Five hundred feet. We want to we want to speed up to about uh, five hundred fifty, maybe six hundred knots. We can. Usually we'll have a longer run at it, but uh, in these cases you need to know where the uh, enemy is. So what we're going to do about five miles from the target. We're going to pull up. We're going to pull up to forty-five degrees, full military power. So five miles. Let's pull up. degrees. We're going to go up to uh, 10,000. Well, that's our maximum altitude, but we want to start rolling over about 8,000, which is now. Let's pick up our bombing range. There it is. We're going to bring our speed to idle, line it up, and we only have a few seconds to line up with the targets and drop our bombs. So idle. Bombs away. Full military power. Pull up. And a hit. Climb out, climb out, climb out. We want to get out of that triple A range. Up 10,000, then we can get out of here. And that's about it. That's uh, as, as complicated as it gets. There's different types of bombings. You can use 45 degrees, 30 degrees, and uh, 60 degrees. But uh, about 30 to 45 should do it. Um, but that's basically what you do. Five miles from the target, pull up, 45 degrees, 8,000, roll over, you're on top at 10,000, nose down, power idle, about 450 knots is when you drop the bombs. Usually you don't want to go lower than 5,000, but a few feet below 5,000 is okay. And then you just nice steady pull up, and uh, that's how you drop bombs. Cool. Easy does it. Alright, thanks guys for watching, and I'll talk to you later.